Welcome to the weird news, turning terrifically tangential tangling into tantalizing tidbits of tomfoolery. Wait a minute. Yeah. This... This just in. Get your hands off my car, you damn dirty ape. And hey, this tastes like chicken. Wait. It is chicken. From our fractal Florida files, a 36-year-old Largo, Florida man was pulled over for suspicion of drunk driving. It was then police noticed the suspect was driving with a monkey in the car. After being found above the legal limit, 36-year-old Eugene Cottleman told the officer he wasn't actually driving. The monkey was. He said he was just operating the pedals, and his macaque monkey named Doc Holliday was doing all of the steering. Therefore, ergo, he was not driving. He was promptly arrested, and the monkey was taken in by the wildlife officers. Cottleman later admitted Doc Holliday was a lousy driver, and he had regularly had to spank his monkey while driving. Ew. In a related story, an Ottawa man faces an almost $500 fine and a careless driving charge for driving while eating rotisserie chicken. Rolls. Police observed the man while his car was swerving and going out of its lane, pulled over the driver for suspicion of drunk driving. The police found the man eating a chicken that was sitting in his lap. <laughs> he might have been let off with a warning if not for the driver's insistence that the officer reach down here and grab a piece. Which is safer, spanking your monkey or pulling your Chicken while driving. Also, double ew. And now to discuss which is safer while driving, spanking your monkey, or choking your chicken is Weird News correspondent, Michael Piper Uni. I am interested. Thanks, Sam. Michael Piper Uni here in the Oval Office. So, spanking the monkey or choking the chicken. Neither really is appropriate as I am a vegan. And you know what? Spanking monkeys is not appropriate anywhere! And why do people have to choke chickens? They're really lovely little creatures. And they're like, you know, why would anybody want to choke a chicken when it's. Never mind. Back to you. That's all that's weird this week. And remember, you can get involved by submitting stories on our Tumblr, sending clips of yourself. Reporting weird news to spweirdnews at gmail.com or posting a video response below. I have a really hairy macaque. Or have your monkey drive it on over to our studios. We've got the chicken and Tim Horton's coffee. Also, submit a video of you saying one of our many tongue twister openings. Post it on our Tumblr and you can be on the weird news. Janetta? Triple E-O, Sam. Triple E-O. No vomit. <laughs>